Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at IPW in, in San Antonio in Texas, and we're at IPW, which so far has been a successful show by all accounts. And I'm sure Mike, who is our director of Skyscanner, would agree with me. Um, good morning, Mike. Good morning. Um, Mike, Skyscanner has been around for some time now, hasn't it? It has, yeah. Um, we were founded in 2003, so this is our 20th anniversary year. Excellent. When I first uh, encountered Skyscanner, it was pretty much a UK domestic uh, company. It's, I think it's uh, always been based in Scotland. and now you're global. I mean, you're even in places like Beijing, aren't you? Uh, not quite Beijing, but oh. uh, um, uh, um, uh, Shenzhen, sorry, couldn't get words out there. Uh, we have an office in Tokyo, Singapore, Barcelona, Glasgow, and we're London, and Miami. Excellent. Well, Beijing must be next. Maybe. <laughs> um, we did have an office in Beijing at one point. All oh, right. Okay. I'll make you up. Whatever. Um, but you've got some new products and new ideas and new things to tell people. Uh, perhaps you can just uh, elucidate for our, for our viewers about it. Yeah, from a, from a traveler perspective, one of the things that we continue to invest in is our Search Anywhere functionality. That's our <clears throat> one of our top destinations, if you like, um, and that helps us move up the funnel, provide inspiration um, to, to travelers who don't know the destination. That's about 41% of our travelers uh, right. use, that, use that bit of functionality. And, and do you have any B2B products that you're developing? We're continually developing B2B products. Um, a couple of things to call out would be sort of um, um, uh, our data suite, so we have a, a whole host of data that we collect through the, the interactions of our travelers. So uh, um, our DMO partners can use that very, very um, insight, you know, really insightful data to decide where and how to market to, um, to, to our travelers. So if, I was a, if I'm a tourist board, say here in, in San Antonio, we could deploy some white label uh, sky scanner software to show people how easy it is to get to visit San Antonio? You do have, we do have that functionality, but how we work with DMOs is more from a, a, an inspiration and attraction perspective. So <clears throat> I mentioned that functionality where you can uh, um, search everywhere. That's key. That's a sponsorship opportunity. And we use our social channels as well to talk to travelers who are more at the, the, the planning and, and, uh, and dreaming stage of, of travel. I suppose social is something that's changed dramatically since you first started. How big a part of your business is that now? It's, it is big. It's big as, you, as we continue to move up the funnel and talk to travellers who are who are still dreaming. And it became particularly big during the COVID period when um, people couldn't travel but were desperate to do so. And do you use all of the channels? I mean, is it Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn? They're all three of those. Yeah. Fact, yeah, and TikTok now as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, we're we're pretty pretty active on all the social channels. Good. Well, it all sounds very very encouraging. And what's the what's the aspirations of the company for the next two or three years? It is really moving, um, moving to 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 to, to the upper funnel stage. You know, we have we have really complete coverage from our, our our flights perspective. We're developing our hotels product. Car rental continues to be developed, but our DMO relationships is something that we're we're really working hard on. Um, and we have a, a report that we've just published, which which is uh, right up their street. So the DMO uh, being here at IPW, there's lots of DMOs downstairs. There certainly are knocking on every door. Have you? Certainly have. <laughs> for some great meetings. Good man. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck downstairs. Thanks very much.